Hey guys, what is up? This is Skullflag44 here, bringing you another Apple Preview OS. OS X Mountain Lion, not Mac OS X because they decided to drop the Mac tag, but I'm just going to kind of be walking you through this little sneak peek preview. If you want to check this out, you can go to apple.com slash Mac OS X slash Mountain Lion, Mountain Dash Lion for yourself. But I'll just be kind of walking through um, some of the cool features of it and uh, kind of explaining my thoughts on it. So um, this is going to be coming this summer, so that's about four to six months away, I guess, um, depending on when they're going to do that. I know some people probably have a specific you know, event in mind to release this, but we'll see. Um, so walking through it here, you can see it um, has all new features, inspired by iPad, and gets keeps getting better and better. That's one of the things you're going to be seeing a lot in here. Um, a lot of this new stuff is going to be based off iOS. And I think that'll continue to happen um, until they kind of become one OS, um, more or less. And as like tablet or as hardware gets better, it'll become easier and easier for these um, to become one simple OS. Um, so here's messages. This is pretty cool um, where you'll be able to send messages st straight from your Mac um, to iPhones, iPads, and iPod Touches. Um, so I'll probably be using this app more. Um, I don't really use the messages thing, but if they haven't, Mac app for it and seems a lot more viable um, along with the FaceTime um, similar concept there and then uh, notification center um, here I'm just going to be walking through these and I'll go into more of the features but notification, notification center you can see um, exact same kind of theme from iOS and uh, looks pretty nice um, I think it'll work well definitely um, a good ad uh, we have reminders. Reminders isn't something for me that is that big of a deal, but I know it could be helpful for a lot of people. And um, apparently, it was pretty popular on iOS, or I don't know if it was or not, but it seems like if they added in, it would be. Or maybe they just want to add one more thing, um, but I guess that's cool. Um, they want to do that. Um, if I ever need a notification, like a little reminding thing, I'll probably use this one um, more than notes. So I guess it's kind of cool to have one more thing there, but it seems like maybe just a App download one that you, if you want it but who knows um, notes they expanded on notes um, so that's kind of nice uh, it's more than just the simple note now um, did they do they even have notes I don't think they even do wow I always kind of thought they did have notes but then I realized I I would be using that if they actually had it so um, it's good they didn't just put basic note thing in there they kind of added on to that and allowing you to attach photos and such Game Center, this is pretty good. Um, uh, now you'll be able to uh, go against iPad and iPod, iPhone, iPod Touch people, and it'll be one kind of connected center. Um, and this also tells us that maybe they'll be willing to get in more into the gaming side of things, um, which is kind of interesting, knowing that PC is definitely the gaming. Uh, if you're into gaming, you know PC is where you go, so it'll, it'll be interesting to see if they make a play at that, since they already have the successful iPad and iPhone, iPod Touch, see if they make Mac more of a viable option there. So now we'll just go over into the features. I'll touch on different things here. So iCloud, um, let's see what they have here. Um, oh, it'll sync your Mac up with all these devices too. So that's pretty nice. Um, like, uh, I guess just unifying all this stuff more and more. I'm pretty sure we'll see this um, again in, later, in future updates. Um, but eventually, it, we, got, we have to get off. OS X so when that happens maybe that'll be the first like you know complete you know where the OS, iOS and Mac OS X is the same thing that could be an interesting thought there messages um, you can actually download the beta so this is really similar to FaceTime because FaceTime had the same uh, beta sort of thing um, let's see is there a difference here um, I don't know why this one has an option when the others don't oh they do I don't know why they even need that option. Um, wait, what's the difference? Why? Did... Oh, reminders everywhere. Like it's on the iPad and I, I photo or I pod touch iPhone. Um, oh, that's kind of nice. The notes on desktop there. So I guess we'll just be able to drag them to your desktop. Ooh, pin important notes to your desktop. That is that is nice. There are some apps that do that already, but just that it's integrated there and it has a little X out button. I'll probably use that for YouTube video ideas and such. And it'll integrate across all platforms is awesome. Notification center. Um, let's see how the banners look. I guess they're kind of going off a of growl setup. Is growl integrated with um, uh, photo or Mac already? I don't think it is. 
I think it's a download, but I guess they're using that idea finally, so that's kind of sweet. And obviously somewhere there. Um, share sheets, I guess that's just like little, um, your page or whatever. I don't know why this person is viewing their browser like this. It seems like you want to go full screen there since you're not doing anything with the rest of it. Interesting enough, this is all at 10.50 a.m. This person gets a lot done. Um, Twitter, this is this is what I'm really excited for. Twitter is going to be more integrated with Mac, or with OSX Lion or OSX Mountain Lion, um, and the fact that it's Mountain Lion and uh, not you know a whole new animal um, from Lion gives me it'll be like small simple things and not be like huge changes. Um, so kind of using that I thought there. Um, so now Twitter will be able to be more integrated with this, all like it is with iOS. Um, so this is pretty sweet, and it also says whenever someone tweets you or sends you a direct message, you'll get a Twitter Twitter notification. So I'm kind of interested to see how they, um, hopefully they're working with Twitter to get an awesome Twitter app as well. Um, Game Center, um, pretty nice here. Uh, looks pretty sweet. I'm glad they're adding that in. Airplay mirroring. This is kind of interesting. Um, it obviously pretty simple mirroring, same, um, like they brought it over from um, iOS, obviously, and uh, so you'll be able to do keynotes, that's nice, and uh, iMovie, pretty sweet there, um, so that'll be interesting, I think they'll be, we can see some cool stuff with that, share lessons with the classroom, um, that's a pretty, pretty neat idea, I think that'll be kind of underestimated, and then people will be using it more, Gatekeeper, um, this is pretty big, I think, because uh, it'll keep Mac more secure, as Mac is growing, um, and it's getting bigger and bigger, it's becoming more of a target for viruses and stuff, because actually, um, I know Microsoft Windows gets a lot more viruses than Mac, but Windows is a lot more secure because they have to focus on making it more secure, while Mac isn't, has, hasn't really been big enough to make a virus for it, or make lots of viruses for it where it's a big problem. Um, you can still get viruses, um, I haven't got one, but, um, it's still definitely possible, um, and uh, Gatekeeper will be keeping it more secure. Really awesome. Glad they're doing something about that. Um, and then new features for China. I know Justin, my buddy, is going to like this. Um, I guess that's good. Like, I, I don't. Um, it's a new Mac experience for China. That's, that's awesome. But I, I don't know why they needed to add that in there. I guess China's a pretty big deal um, for them. So that's pretty sweet. So that's pretty much um, OSX Mountain. Lion, am I saying that right? Yes, I am. Not Mac OS X dropping that completely. iCloud, messages, reminders, notes, notification center, share sheets. This seems like a smaller tweak thing more than like a specific thing, but I guess that's cool. Um, Twitter, Game Center, AirPlay mirroring, and Gatekeeper. And I'm sure we'll see other stuff and other little nuances to be added to this as we learn more information about it. Once again, you can check this out at apple.com slash Mac OS X slash mountain dash lion. And you can look over this for yourself. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button and subscribe. I will see you guys next time.